This video will be a bit rougher than what I normally put out. This is because this video is an explainer of a security vulnerability that another Redditor found and I helped confirm. So without further ado, let's get into it. The TLDR summary of this glitch is it'll let you bypass an activation lock on a Mac. The Reddit thread is called Be Warned, Permanent Unpatchable Activation Lock Vulnerability on Mac Devices. <laughs> now isn't that an overly dramatic title? For those who aren't aware, under iCloud, you can lock a Mac remotely. You must have Find My Mac enabled on your Mac for this to work. When a Mac has been locked, if it has an active internet connection, it will reboot, and it will boot itself into a specially locked mode. This will require you to unlock it using a password or on non-T2 Macs using a PIN code. Or at least that's how it functions for me on my 2012 MacBook 12-inch. So let's quickly walk through this glitch. First, lock your Mac remotely using iCloud. The Mac that has been locked should automatically reboot. Once the Mac is done restarting, reboot it into recovery mode. This is done by holding Command R. Once you have encountered the recovery lock screen, just reboot your Mac again. It should now boot to the login screen. When I tried this on a MacBook Pro M1 Max, which is an Apple Silicon Mac, it did not work. But it did work on the MacBook 2017. This particular Mac does not have a T2 chipset, but is still supported under Ventura. The person who discovered it says they are on a MacBook Pro 2019. The MacBook Pro 2019 does have a T2 chipset. If true, this means that all Intel Macs may be vulnerable to this glitch. Research needs to be done. In the description of this video, I have a link to the original Reddit thread and also a type up on my blog explaining this glitch. I did not discover this glitch, but I did do the research to confirm it. Credit goes to Unfuck Your Employment. Unfuck Your Employment says they have reported this glitch to Apple, but has not received any positive response. I'd be very interested if other people were able to replicate this glitch, especially on different hardware. So let me know in the comments, and I guess that's it.